Ladies, it's a little new shop and I know I've done a lot of Zara, so I thought today I would give you Massimo Dutti, which I went into in Regent Street with Chloe and I loved it. There were so many great things. Now the store on the King's Road is smaller, but let's see what they have. I've never filmed in there before, so I don't know if they'll stop me, but let's have a look. Just to give you some heritage around the brand, probably better made than Zara for sure, more expensive than Zara, yes. Same owner, yes. Um, probably I'd say prices are less than whistles and I think it's better made. Slightly more classic. Um, they also do limited edition collections like that purple outfit I wore the other day is limited edition and they do mainstream. And they do men. Okay, this is quite interesting because I bought a version of this in Zara and it wasn't hugely expensive. So I'm really interested to see that actually here in Massimo Dutti um, and what I love about it, there aren't many left actually, is it's a kind of casual, cool way to be warm. Puffer jackets are very, very strong this season. They're always strong. But having one in velvet is obviously impractical for the rain, which is when you kind of want to wear a puffer jacket. So how you have to imagine you would wear this is it's kind of doing sport lux for a more sophisticated grown-up woman. So you might do it with a tailored trouser or with a jean, but the color of the velvet is incredibly beautiful, warm and snuggly, and sort of chic. Um, and I love it. I think it's a great piece, and I have my Zara one. It's reminding me now I want to buy my Zara one, and I'll tell you how much it is. Because things here are more expensive. 119 pounds. It's such a figure. 119 pounds, because Luke and I were in Zara last week, and do you remember those expensive coats, Luke? 119 pounds. Um, so let me just put this over here so I don't upset their display. I'm trying to be very good. Put on my coat again. Well, I feel I won't need to put on my coat again because I'll keep trying things on. Actually, let's just go straight to, sorry, let's go straight to that. You see, that is, I look at that and I think that's a beautiful, beautiful color. I mean, really beautiful color, but a more classic shape than I would get. So that coat, I love the color is beautiful it's a more crop sleeve um, but for a petite person it might be quite nice to have that crop sleeve I feel for me it makes it look like an orangutan um, but exquisite cornflower blue it's beautiful beautiful oh I love I love those trainers I'm always looking for a chic trainer it's like a grown-ups trainer when you don't want to do the big Nike air I love that it's got nice padding it's a really cool trainer. I love the little bit of brown leather there. I think it works incredibly well. And it's a whole, it's leather, the whole shoe. So it's just a more elegant way to do a trainer. Um, and if you're somebody who can't get your head around my Stellas, then that's a great way to go. And look, they have the longer. I like that longer. That's really smart. So if you live in a place where it's not cold, I think that's beautiful. And I love the fact it's kind of just to here. Gray coat. That's so pretty. That's just the most chic gray coat. I'm really on my flannel journey now. And I'm thinking how classic and gorgeous that is. I think gray is a color that suits people more than anybody else. Um, and most people can wear a version of gray. But I think what I like is a classic cut. It's not trying to be too many things. It's like a cover coat. But lovely fit, warm, just hangs off. And you can wear it with navy, with white, with jeans, with anything. Gray goes with so many things. Love this bag. It's that kind of rich. It's a really rich brown. And like with this Anya Highmarch bag I've got, um, I usually like to take a very small bag or a very big bag and if I've got my computer it changes everything but what I've loved about this bag is the size and how much I can fit in and that's a very similar size so you know when you buy a bag of a certain size you're then just looking at other bags that are that size um, but it is something that goes over the shoulder yeah it doesn't fit if I wanted to make it I don't know if I can make it smaller or if that's it no, it won't. So I don't think I could do that with it, you see. It's too high for me, probably. It looks weird to be that high. 
little bit. So if you're petite, it might be a beautiful proportion. I have a very long body. But that doesn't work. I so wish it was a tiny bit longer because I wouldn't hold it like that. And I think hold it like, holding it like that feels, I don't know. It's all right, actually. It's a different way to hold a bag than the way I've been holding it for years. It's just got a different feel to it. But it's such a beautiful um, construction. And it is, it is, let's see how much it is, 119 pounds. Oh, definitely leather. Oh, these I love. Okay, so, so these are stupendously cool cowboy boots. I've actually bought them to take on my trip to America. But I think what I love is a full on cowboy boots too much of the season. There's a lot of things this season which are sort of Western influence. But I like the narrowness. I love the color. It's a really neutral color for jeans. And I like the size of the heel. They're very, very comfortable. Um, and I just think they're fantastic. Really, really cool. And they are, they are, they are not giving me a price. 139. Oh, this is nice too. That's quite nice, that bag. Let's go over where we can have an over here. Let me just show you here. Um, that's another bag. This is 60, but that can definitely go over like that. I think. You know, many people have a different relationship with bags and some people love a bag that's branded because they feel they bought into a designer. Um, I personally like a bag just for the bag and sometimes when there isn't an obvious name on the bag on the outside, I kind of like it more because it's more a reflection of who you are and not what the brand is. Um, so this bag is just that classic suede, beautiful brown suede bag, practical, it's got a middle bit and two side zips. I quite like the way they go opposite ends, I thought that's well thought through. But the colour is very good and it's sh that's chic, you will wear it town or country. Um, it's a day bag, not an evening bag, because I wouldn't do suede at night, but I think that's fab. And it comes also in a sagey green, but I love that. Like I said, Massimo Dutti are very good for kind of classic separates. Um, and this story is like red, white, and black, my, my three least favorite colors together. But if I look at them individually, like that's a really beautiful white shirt. It's got very nice, it's like a, a, a sort of grow grain poplin and it's got a lovely bit, it's got a tiny bit of stretch. Very nice, this is a collar shape that every woman can wear. I mean, I would put Chloe in this, who's curvy size 16 on the top. I'd put somebody with no boobs in this. It's less fussy than a big shirt collar, and I sometimes think looks much chicer. And it's the one way I love to see a woman who has a bigger boob and doesn't want to show it off, to wear this neckline. Um, with a covered um, button detail and then a, over it a jacket so she gives the impression of three parts of her top body but she's covering everything up but it's chic and unfussy. I think that's what I love about it, it's how unfussy it is. Um, they've got a leather jacket. You know, this is a grown-ups leather jacket. There's hardly any zip detail on this leather jacket. Um, it's actually, that's a really beautiful leather jacket. The, the leather is so soft, it's gonna be a fortune I know but I'm just gonna show you anyway. Oh my God, 200. It is leather and it's 229 pounds, which you might think, oh, that's a lot of money, but do we all know how much real leather jackets are? I'm gonna put it on because I think that's an incredibly well-priced leather jacket and I want to get excited by it. So let's just try it and see what the fit's like. So that's a 12 there. Um, very smart jacket, really unusually smart jacket, don't you think? Cool, I love to get Luke's advice. Let me look at it in the mirror. Yeah, so to me, what's good about this for my body shape is that it's not too short here. And if you were short, if you, had, if you were short, it would work well there. But if you're long bodied, it doesn't cut you off. And I love the detail here. And I love the fact there's hardly any zips. Beautiful, really beautiful. Okay, who would have thought an elegant black leather jacket? Very nice. Really, can't say how nice it is, it's fantastic. Oh, that looks so beautiful. They have also 
beautiful cashmere jumpers and you know you kind of think where do you get your classic cashmere jumpers from these are 119 pounds so if i compare this to M&S's cashmere they go from 69 to 100 but um, I just want to see how these compare up. I'm going to get a 10 and I just want to see how that is. I love more than life itself a grey cashmere jumper but I want to see how the fit is. Yeah, I, quite, I think I'm going to quite like it because jumpers are clever when they do a little slit at the side but they're not a tunic and there's a lot of cashmere jumpers that are wide with slits and there aren't many that are narrow with slits. So I'm just going to see what this is like. This is, what did I say, what size did I say it was? 10. Is this a 10? Okay. So that's a 10 there. Nice length sleeve. Sometimes cashmere jumpers can be too small. I've got a shirt underneath. Do you see what I mean? It's got this little slit here. It m might seem tiny, but it means that I could choose to tuck in the front if I wanted that look. And have the back come out. And I just think that's... You know, so often people use a jumper to cover what they don't like or cover their belly. But sometimes actually tucking in, elongates your leg. You know, even if you've got a little bit of a belly, is it not better to show off something of a waist than have something come straight down? <clears throat> very, very nice cashmere. And not too thin either. It's great. I'd say it's as good as the M&S cashmere quality, but a more flattering and modern uh, design. And they have white and they have the most, that is the most glorious. My God, that's such a nice blue. That's the blue I have been looking for for so long in a jumper. It's very difficult to get this blue. It's like a sort of, it's a sort of French navy. It's exactly a French navy. Um, and that's the same shape as well. Really great that. I just want to see what the 12 is like in comparison. I'm getting obsessive now, you can tell, can't you? Okay. <laughs> Um, that's an 8. I love it that they have a 12 on the top and then an 8. That's really helpful. Sorry. <laughs> Just um, having a look here. And that's a 12. Okay. So I tried on the 10. Let me show you what the 12 looks like, ladies. In case you want to buy online and you want to see how it sizes up. I think they, I think they size up slightly on the small side. Okay. But I just want to show you this colour because it's glorious, this colour. Yeah, I think I would be more comfortable to wear a 12 in this. Yeah, I think I would. Um, and just, yeah, I love that as a blue. Really beautiful blue. Sometimes it's the smallest details that, that take a shot from being just a certain price in this mid-market category, which I might put whistles and costs and Massimo Dutti. And it's just about the tone of color. And that's the perfect tone of blue for me in a jumper. Not too midnight, just enough French navy. Oh, and then let me just see something I can put on with it, which I find exquisite. I find truly exquisite. Is that. Now, okay, this is a store that does do uh, sheepskin. So some stores do no fur at all. Other stores do things where they feel you eat the animal, so I do eat lamb cutlets. And so I'm gonna try on the sheepskin coat. But they don't come anyway. The hood to, my eyebrows are a bit dark, I've just noticed they really are dark. I had them done today. Um, that is so fantastic, I love it. I love it, it's really, really beautiful. Um, yeah, it is beautiful. I have a fake one of these from Topshop without the hood. Um, pretty, very pretty, and that has a few colors. Okay, we'll do the last bit of the store now. They haven't come and bothered us, so I'm hoping we can still tell. I mean, I'm gonna actually take that with me, yeah. No, I'll take that with me. Okay, great. All right, okay. Just um, put it down a bit. Oh, 
Yeah, that is nice. Okay, so do it from do it here. So you're just getting me. Um, they've got quite a lot of velvet this season. This is a very oh my goodness, it was it is. This is a very pretty olive green velvet, similar velvet to the color of the one in Zara. Um, and what I quite like is they haven't done it as a trouser suit, which would be the easy cop out. They've done it with a, a black tux kind of wide leg skirt. No, wide leg trouser. Quite an interesting way to show it. And then on the other side, the most pretty blue, which is like a teal blue. Very, very pretty that. Love the colors. Such good colors here. Such good colors. So I think that's it. Um, just gives you a soup song. We're not in the Regent Street store, so I'm not getting to show you the really special Massimo Duty bits like that purple suit, because they do have amazing things. And I think on the site, they'll have a, a, a less of those special things. I think you have to go into the main flagship store. Um, and we are, as I said earlier, on the King's Road store. But it, if you want quality, if you're feeling that, you know, to you Zara things aren't good enough quality, I think Massimo Duties are really good going up. And maybe it means you just buy less, but you buy far cleverly and you do less kind of uh, transient, you know, seasonal fashion and you buy investment dressing. So I think for investment dressing and if you want to be an investment dresser or you are an investment dresser, I think it's a fantastic shop. Okay, more next week.